Get on, guys. I've got time for a quick 20 teams here. I'm going to go through this first one here. No fucking fucking furries. It was 6,088 overall score, 1,621 field overall rank. Thinking going from man to Jackson, I think that's a completely fair trade. You've got 26 in the, in the bank, that's fine. What to, uh, I went to trade at Randall and Thompson, as I don't think they have that much money to make. Yeah, Randall could be the man this week. If you want to wait on him over man, that's fine. Either one is a decent pick. You know, you have a fair bit of hooker cover, so you could go Randall before man if you wanted to. Um, Thompson, obviously at 358k, you could trade down if you wanted to. With this 71k in the bank, you can obviously go man straight up to Jackson. And you could potentially hold Thompson this week. He's not going to lose you any cash. And yeah, I want to just get this out of the way early. A bunch of the a bunch of teams are sitting with a couple of 220 guys or 240, or you know, cool there's two, 240 there. Um, and, and aren't really making any any cash at the moment. So just be aware of bringing in more cheaper guys. So if you can just make that one trade, I think that would be the best option here for team number one. Number two, okay, we've got plenty happening in this one. Uh, when's Billy Smith back? I'm not actually sure at this point. It could be a few weeks, but yeah, 277k is not someone that you can push to need to push to get out of your side. You got everyone playing at the moment. Planning to get Ma uh, Manu pre-origin for cover. Yep, that'll be sweet. Uh, okay, so he's red dots. Have you spent final rounds with one or two trades left? Yeah, absolutely pumping the trades. Um, enjoy it, but make sure if you use all your trades, you still watch my videos. Come on, look after me. Trades: Leo Thompson plus Randall to Josh Jackson and Lukey. Yeah, potentially. Um, you're going to wait till after Origin for for d d d Munster to Burton when he gets good. Yeah, but why would you? Don't Just, just don't trade out Munster if you're going to play that. Using two players to get Cleary plus cheapy after Origin. Good plan. Yeah, I'd look to try and get, obviously, Josh Jackson's a decent one. Lukey, uh, potentially a good option, but 470k. It's like, well, if he gets 50 minutes off the bench and doesn't score tries, he's going to get a tougher game this week. You know, how is he going to continue playing? There all the question marks you need to answer. Obviously, Jackson's a good one. Um, yeah, but maybe saving up for like an Isaiah Papali would be a better idea than um, you know, trying to you know, save up for Cleary. You've already got Teddy and, the, and these types of guys. So that's probably my thoughts on the team. Well done on you know putting all that writing on there for me. All right, Sexton, The Beach. How good are some of these names? I want to push to the top 1,000. Awesome. You're very close to my team there. Trades are rough. here. Yeah, 22 to go. Opinions on the team. So if we look here, we've got King, who's a definitely a hold. Pango Jr. is going to be someone that's a boomer bust type of player, which is really cool. Burton's the main worry here, and Taff. So if you have someone to cover for Blakey, which you don't at the moment, that's probably the only real, real worry there, is he could definitely improve as a player. Unfortunately, don't have Taylor May, which is you know very hurtful because you could pop him in, in the wing fullback position. So Burton's probably a guy you'd look to potentially move on from. You know, Tuolangi could go into the starting side and bring Tungle down if you wanted to. You have Jason Saab at the moment, which is a bit of a pain, and Cody Ramsey. So that's that. You might have to just hold on with, with Taff there. You're Kurt Mann and Aiken. I, I'd be holding on to Aiken for sure, mate. Um, yeah, considering he's averaging 49, you don't really have you know, any other good centers. Uh, you obviously have Tungo as the cover, but if you trade him out, you're not going to bring in another center, for example. Uh, a player under 400. The only ones would be cooler, for example, at this point that I would suggest. But you got Ramsey and Saab there. So you don't want another guy that's just going to fill up those spaces there. Um, you can definitely hold on with Burton if you like. A 22 trade is probably a decent idea. He comes up against a nicer side uh, over the next couple of weeks. So up to you guys there how you want to play that one. I wouldn't sideways, well, probably a bit of an upgrade. Aitken to Talakai, but I probably wouldn't do that with the amount of trades left. Uh, there's definitely other ways you could pick him up rather than, than doing that. I personally feel. But that's that. Uh, sorry for the messy layout. That's okay, mate. 27 trades. That's really nice. 154k in the bank. I've been losing heaps of ranks lately. It's 2,513. Hopefully you can pull it back. Yeah, well, with those trades, you definitely will. I was thinking Man and Burton to Cleary and Cash go under 306. Davy Mwale. I'd probably go for, for Gula. I think he just has a better opportunity in the side. Davy, he's not going to get you know, a big amount of minutes, unfortunately. So if you want to get Cleary that way, then that would be cool. I'd be keeping Hughes, for example. Um... Need Cleary and also want to target an IPAPS before round 17. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, over the next few weeks, IPAPS could be good. If you can get Cleary now, then that's a good one. Ah, um, oh, damn, that sucks. You could have played Penasini over Tualangi as well. Damn. Mid cover. Yeah, if you trade it out, man, that would make it tough, wouldn't you? I suppose you could potentially get away with it for one week, but just be aware of, you know, of what could happen on a regular basis with these teams. So, you know, uh, solid position, mate. You've got plenty of trades in the bank. I'd be going to get Cleary in, and your team will feel a lot better with having Grant, you know, ha Haas, Hughes, Cleary. Uh, you'll be happy there for sure. Number five here. Okay, 689 is the overall rank with 159 in the bank, 23 trades with a couple used already. Trade a man and Burton out to Talakai and Carl Lawton. Just remember, Court Lawton's going to be a, a shorter-term option. He's obviously going to score well over the next few weeks, but 
uh, after that, unless there's injuries, which obviously happens, and we've said this many a time, the good players, they tend to, to find their way into teams for longer than just a couple of weeks. But you also have Schuster's going to come back over the next bunch as well. Just be aware of that uh, in, in, in this squad here if you're going for Carly. Uh, if you do that, you do have 159K in the bank, so you could use that little bit extra if you wanted to to pick up someone else. Okay, trade a man and Burton. Man, Burton. You could keep Burton and move Hetherington on if you wanted to. If you want to play that way. Talakai. I suppose you have a lot of edges at the moment. Which is interesting. You're playing Talakai in center. Is uh, Yeah, I wouldn't think Lawton's worth it at this point. But he obviously he's going to score well. After next week, I'm bringing in Randall for Jackson potentially. That leaves me with 10 players for round 13. Is that good at the moment? Yeah, I'd say that's good at the moment. And then probably a couple more trades to get you to like 12 to 14. Would be ideal. All right. In terms of ordering your bench, you've got everyone playing at the moment. I'd be looking to, I'd be playing those four. Yeah, I think playing those four is 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 solid. You could obviously go Jones as well, but having him as number five, and you can work it out from there. I think that's solid. All right, number six, RDS commentators. So Jackson, an option, two gays short of Arrow to Papali. Uh, so yeah, to Papali. Um, yeah, he's definitely an option, man. If you wanted to get Jackson in for man, you could do that. If you, Randall, yeah, up to you how you want to get him in. He's definitely a good option. No, I think he's probably the best trade in this week, but you don't have to trade everyone to do so. If it's a straight swap, then that's okay. Uh, I think, who goes first, man or arrow? Man has a tough uh, sign, uh, uh, yeah, tough, a tough game to play. Assignment, that was the word. <laughs> that was close. Uh, tough assignment this week, so... Yeah, against a storm. So up to you guys if what you want to do with him. Either way, it's going to be pretty close. You know, Arrow's going to play Origin. Man, he's not. So you can think about that as you will. Play May over Taff. Hell yeah. Get you know, switch them out, please. Play Tualangi in the four spot would be ideal. How many round thirteen players should I aim to have? Yeah, twelve to fifteen is going to be ideal over that period. Uh, but we've got you know a few videos to go through before we can uh, work that one out. Made this uh, this new one here. Easy wins. Made the mistake of prioritizing Pongo over Cleary. Damn. Now I can't get this Cleary this week. Jamie, <laughs> help me. What do I do? Uh, you got a whole ponga now if you brought him in for sure. Thinking over bringing guys like Gula and Martin to save cash for Klez next week. All right, so yes, yeah, so you got plenty. Of, you haven't got any real cheapies on the bench, so I'd look to bring in a you know, Gula, for example. You already have Nanai, uh, Luki in your side. I think you can trade out Nanai, for example, to a Gula, and that will give you about you know, close to three hundred k in the bank, which will be really really nice. Um, and potentially look at Burton as being a potential option to to move out. Um, next week, not sure to trade out, don't want to make dumb choices. Yeah, I'm not sure if Birdo's a dumb choice anymore. He's lost a bit of cash. He's not really playing anywhere near his peak, unfortunately. So he could be someone that you look to move on to get closer to Cleary. And, and you could use Bowie over the next few weeks as well. You've got Luki in there. You've brought in, obviously, maybe last week or the week before, who can do a job in the, in the edge at, at that mid-range for you, along with Chulangi, for example. So that's where I'd go with that teammate. All right, Rocco Strawberry. Spoken about your team a few times. Hope you are enjoying it. Trade outs, man, and I, Karen, because of injury. Yeah, Karen's going to go first, unfortunately. 733. Uh, Karen to Josh Jackson. I think just straight swap Karen to JJ would be ideal. Leaves you about 100K in the bank. Uh, and then you could go man to another gun if, as well if you wanted to. Up to you. Uh, how you want to play that one. King, I think, is a hold. Uh, any other trade ideas? Yeah, you could probably use that extra cash. I'd just go current team and then the Nye, you could go up to someone if you wanted to, or you can hold off this week and, and leave it at 24. Uh, your bench is looking pretty solid. I'd leave it at that. <clears throat> All right, Andrew Longjohns, 523 is the overall rank. Overall thoughts on how the team's uh, shaping and what moves I should be making going forward. Uh, Brown and Randall sells now. <clears throat> I don't think they're um, you know, clear sells. Randall's obviously more of a sell than Brown, but if you if you were someone that didn't have a Cleary, I you know, wouldn't be against you going a Brown up to a Cleary, but remember, he's going to be playing over the origin period as well. They do miss round 13, but you know, 17 is going to be important, and he's going to have some dominant games against some lesser uh, defensive outfits, that's for sure. When should we aim to move on from Thompson and Walters? Thompson, I think you can, you know, they both could potentially be holds. I wouldn't trade just for the sake of it at this point, but... Um, it's definitely a, yeah, a solid option for you to, to hold, either hold on to them or if you could go down to uh, a Gulda, for example, that would be fine as well, <clears throat> I think, at this point. Thoughts on man to, to Joshy Jackson? I think that's a, a solid one. You obviously have enough money in the bank to, to be able to trade straight up to him. I think that would be decent. And can these centers be keepers for the year? Hopefully, Penasini, you know turns out to be that type of player. Being a young fella, 19-year-old, in a good team, he could, def could definitely get to that stage. He probably has to make another 100K. Uh, to be really, really solid. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll find that out over the next few weeks. So that's that team there. We're pretty much halfway now. 
Maxi's got 33k in the bank. Who do I th who do I who do you think I should get rid of? I'm thinking Kobe or Tuolangi. I think Tui's a, a hold. Um, I think you could definitely hold as well. You've got Talakai already, which is nice. Uh, in terms of the bench, you can obviously play Will Smith this week, which is nice. Playing at six for for the Titans, that would be cool. In terms of the other guys, I reckon you should probably just hold, keep you know Tuolangi there, um, and then just pick you know if you want to play Heather or Ilias, for example. 22 trades is pretty little. 10 for round 13, solid. 6,400 rank. Man to Lenu. Don't bring in Lenu. Um, you know, go for someone cheaper. You don't have a, a cool love, for example. Just do that instead. Um, yeah, I don't know how long you can trust on Burton, but I personally would not. Uh, I'd probably hold him this week and just get rid of... Who would you get rid of? Randall? I'll probably hold one of them. and You can trade out Burton if you wanted to and play Tungo in the centers. He's hit his peak, but you've made too many too many trades, and I think you can just hold off on Tungo, for example. Um, Fafita has made the 60k, but yeah, but you just don't trade him for the sake of it. You, know, you can get rid of the other guys, bank some cash, and you can you can obviously get clearer this week and go from there. <clears throat> All right, Murray for Minister, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, Fafita for Tass equals cash, yeah, 90k cash just for just for Isaiah Tass, not uh, good enough. Just reverse that trade. Uh, it's not worth it. You have you know Rushton, Moale, Baker. Thompson, so many cheapies there that aren't making too much money now. So I think you need to hold off on that trade. Keep for feeder, um, or if you really need to get a cheapie, I'd go cooler and, and try and upgrade, upgrade a little bit elsewhere. So that'd be my thoughts for you, Murray, <coughs> in that one. Alrighty, so a bunch of different trade options here for my body is Aitken. <laughs> then I to T to Mario Martin and Cash. Yeah, Thompson to Tamari Martin, Burton to Cashy plus Cash, Burton to Gun under six fourteen. There's a potential a few options there for Burton if you looked at it. Uh, which we'll speak about in the buy hold sells. You could potentially just hold. Uh, I think the Nai could you could downgrade. You just have a lot of cheapies. You got Moale, you got Amone, Edric Lee as well. Obviously made a little bit of cash for you. Yeah, no cooler for example. You could pick up him, but I think that um, at this point you got too many cheapies in, in, in my in my thoughts anyway that I'm making money. Uh, in terms of when a Starling Starling's a hold probably could potentially keeper. Schneider keep holding King another bunch of weeks. Tungo could be potentially be a keeper. Penasini as well. Um, you know, Randall could potentially be a, a trade soon. Thompson as well. Open to any suggestions on my team. Yep, yeah, that's fair. Holding Crichton through Origin period. Yep, yeah, that could be decent. Really, it's only Nanai that's a potential trade out for you this week, and then you know, got to clean up a few of the cheapies. All right, first and first thirteen. 937 overall rank. Twenty eight trades in the bank, which is lovely. Trade out Arrow and Critter to IPAP and Taff last week. Awesome, except for the critter. <laughs> um, but IPAP was good, dropped 700 ranks, so yeah, unfortunate. Well, oh wow, you're 250th. Again, wondering how I get clear in this week, I most likely have to be a two-week process due to me not having much cash in the bank. Are there any immediate trade-outs for this week for my side? Yeah, for feeders, a tough one, unfortunately for you. And playing Taff there, yeah, it's a bit of a hard one. I'll probably try and trade down if you can to Kula for, for Nanai. I think that would be a, a decent option to try and free up some cash. And then, I suppose it's just what you want to do with Fafita over the origin period. If you're going to hold him or not. If you're not going to hold him, you can try and get him up to Cleary using that cash that you, you know, the 250k. That should be able to get you to Cleary. If you want to do that, that's completely up to you. That's just the only suggestion I would make other than just Nanai heading down to Gula. All right, a bunch more to go. 992 overall ranked. Still down a fair few ranks, unfortunately. A bit of cash flow coming through now at least, which is good. Potential trade outs this week. Kobe, man, Nanai, Burton, maybe. Hopefully not Randall. We have Cleary. I suppose just I'd, the only place I'd look to upgrade is in the mids there. Obviously, you've got Nanai and, and Man not doing too well. Hetherington, which is a bit of a pain at the moment. I'd be looking to try and get to those guys. But you do have three super cheap uh, auto players there. So Nanai straight up to like a Jackson would be ideal potentially. Um, yeah, you're obviously hoping that Taff could improve. You could play Cooler if you wanted to as well in the wing fullbacks. I think that would be a decent idea. I'd like to get IPAPs instead of Man. Could do Man and Burton to IPAPs and Tamari Martin. Just be aware of Tamari. You're getting another cheapie in. You've got Blake Taff. You're going to have Tamari Martin as well. Cooler. You don't need any more wing fullbacks. Uh, so I think you can just go straight to Jackson, potentially, is, is probably the best idea there, mate. All right. So we'll rank 4874. Eel00. Did Randall and Walters to Starling and Cooler this week? Okay. Yeah, Starling's a good trade in. Cooler's going to be fine. Um, no, I think you could lock that in, mate. That's pretty good. I would. Uh, Currently leave that. You got Moses doing well. You got Grant's bench is doing pretty solidly. Yeah, let's leave that. Just do what you said. It's good. 
Um, okay, this team's got 14K in the bank, 22 trades left, da looking to downgrade Randall potentially. Again, just too many cheapies. You've got the Wishart, the Kula, the Mo Moale. I wouldn't touch any of them, so I wouldn't be downgrading personally at this point. You do have a great side in, in the Hass, Tamalolo, Papali, Cleary, Starling um, you know, combo with Paps and Hines there. So just be you know Burton if you want to move him on, but you only have 14K in the bank, so I think you just got to hold this week. 22 um, you know, trades left. If you continue doing that, you'll be out of them very quickly. Uh, so I think, yeah, you can probably, you're probably just going to have to leave the Talakai one. He's up near 700k, and you can't just single trade him, unfortunately. Yeah, you'd have to do two trades to get him in, which is not good enough uh, and won't be able to do. How do I bring an IPAP with 22k in the bank? I think you go in the Nye and Randall to IPAP and possibly rush to no, don't do it. Again, you've got a couple of cheapies here. You can't bring in Kula. He's the only one I suggest as the cheapie this week. Uh, you have a bunch of other you know, mid-range guys at the moment not doing particularly well. So I think IPAP, you might have to miss out on him this week. And... You know, somehow get to like you know Josh Jackson potentially, but that might you might just have to hold this week indefinitely. Uh, I just would don't have any suggestions for you to trade Nanai down to anyone, unfortunately. So that's that. Uh, this one's a really cool one. So number eighteen here is a, a overall rank fourteen team in Kahiri Cuzzlers. So if you this is your team, let me know uh, in the Discord or in the um, YouTube comments. That'd be cool. What to do with Bowie? You can go to a Josh Jackson or a Talakai. I think both are good, man. Completely up to you. Flip a coin on that one, whichever you want to. Both are going to do great. Talakai has more upside, obviously, but Jackson's going to be super duper uh, consistent there. Brown and center. Yeah, it's, it's completely annoying. Um, yeah, if you want to hold him, that's fine. Walter's the cool luckiest to replace 13. Yeah, but it's 70, uh, 50K, 55K. So up to you. Um, yeah, I think you, mean, you can probably hold the Bowie. I think you can just maybe trade the Bowie up. That um, yeah, obviously leaves with limited salary, but uh, if you wanted to go down with Walters, you can. You obviously would leave your 24 trades. You know, he'd potentially make you some cash as well. You know, Teletau. Uh, yeah, I'm liking your thinking though, man. You, you'll, you'll make a good decision and just hope that Taff plays a bit better. And you know, you could potentially play Cooler if you brought him in over Taff. Two to go. All right, South, South, South. Trades, Walsh for Cleary. Okay, interesting. I think Walsh is gonna be, he's already done that. I think he's you know, potentially getting towards a buy, but um, Nathan Brown for Miley or George Burgess. Don't bring in Georgie. You got cool already. I think you have too many cheapies, man. It's hard to go down. I think you're going to be able to have to miss out on Cleary or get him in another way. I think Nanai's the guy to go. If you can get in Nanai and, and Brown, potentially, would be an option. Uh, and build to clear over the next few weeks. I'm not sure if that's possible for you. Um yeah, it's just not, I don't find that really good, you know, that drop down, the cash cows, obviously going to hurt you. The Cleary captain's going to be great. Um, but yeah, just be aware of that. That's an issue. I'd probably play Willie Smith in this uh, this week over Ilias, for example. He usually scores fairly solidly for the Titans when he plays in those halves. Uh, they do look good, those half, that halves peering though. It's up to you on that one. It's a bit of a tough one. Last one for this video. Does man still have money to make or worth upgrading someone like Curran? Obviously not Curran. Uh, Lolo or Pengai. Yeah, I think the second one, the second two are decent options for sure. Burton sell if he doesn't approve. Yeah, you could uh, you could upgrade him straight to like a Josh Jackson if, if you wanted to. Go Tungle down to, to centers. Um, you obviously have a little bit of cover there, which helps. That's potentially a good option. Heathering to Brody Jones. I wouldn't try sideways that one. Looking to trade out uh, wish out, wish out of Walters to Will Smith. No, I wouldn't do Will Smith, mate. Um, yeah, wish out's too cheap as well. Yeah, you got a lot of cheapies, so try not to get any more of those cheapies that aren't making money uh, or don't have clear prospects to make money. If a uh, gun cash cow comes up, completely fine. Uh, but if it doesn't, then hold steady. Okay, if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe. Really appreciate all of you. And uh, we'll catch you. We'll do this again, uh, obviously, you know, during the week. Just want to get a quick one out uh, now, ready for tomorrow. And yeah, hope you enjoy this. And we'll catch you in the next one. See you later.